the militia came into this location and actually killed and slaughtered innocent men, women and some children. 186 were actually killed in this location. When we landed and I came in, Interfet had already stabilised Dili, but there was nothing here. I mean, the, the buildings were all scorched and burnt. Everything was destroyed. There was a lot of random acts of violence. The local authority weren't able or structured to be able to cope with those um, random acts of violence. And so you needed Australian and New Zealand security troops to assist in that. So we had fairly intense operations for a number of months with groups of militia coming through this area. We also tragically lost a Nepalese soldier in August, again in a contact with the militia. So you'll have seen today that uh, you know, the schools are now functioning, school children are wearing uniforms, villages are now being lived in, the houses have got roofs on. None of that was here back in 2000. So if you came here for the first time now, and you're riding along a bumpy road, you'd think, oh, you know, not much progress has been made. I can assure you, compared to what it was like in 2000, where this was literally as, like a, as if a war had occurred here, um, significant progress, and the people are happy. These people are not afraid anymore. Like I said, the early days, they were scared to come out of their homes, to, for Australia and New Zealand to be here and do what we did. That's, a primo achievement of what our country has done here. As soon as they know you're a Kiwi, they'll latch onto you. It's like something special. It's a, a Kiwi, oh, you know, of course you, you blow your own trumpet as a Kiwi, but until you see it, you know, live it and see it, we're damn lucky. You see it on TV, war and all of that. Uh, I once went to a school and a little kid asked me, you know, have you killed somebody? And as I pointed out to them, my job is not to kill people, my job is to prevent that. Uh, coming to East Timor, I think we did the best job that we could, and, uh, you know, we could definitely be proud. We've left the country a better place for the Timorese, and um, good luck to them.